on that as a evening's work? Yeah, it's just, honestly, I can't put into words what it means. Um, I am just over the absolute moon. I don't think I'll ever get... Um, <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I'll ever get a moment like that in my career again. Just with the crowd was just, it was mad, absolutely mad. And I just called my wee granny there, she was crying. So it, was, <laughs> it set me off. Um, yeah, it's really special. My third Commonwealth Games um, to represent in the, I've done the steeplechase, the 1500, the 5K, and I've come sixth in all of them. And tonight, I just, I really wanted a medal. Um, and the crowd over the last 200, that honestly just, it just gave me such a boost. I, could, I couldn't believe it. I felt I just had this energy out of nowhere and um, it just helped, it helped massively. And yeah, I can't put into words. I think it'll sink in tomorrow when I wake up um, that yeah, I actually, I did it, I, I won it. And what does it mean to win the gold? Because you've got other medals, but a gold medal. Yeah, I mean, I've obviously I've I've had uh, no Commonwealth medals. Um, I have a European medal from indoors and outdoors, but yeah, my first title and to do it at the age of 31, like that's what I'm even more proud about. I'm getting stronger, both as, not only physically but just mentally as well. Like I believe in myself now, and I think confidence for me has always been a huge thing, and I think that's just helped from like not only my mum and dad, but. My, my partner Michael, like he just believes in me. He has this utmost faith that he sees like glimpses of it in training and then we've come to racing and I've just had a yeah, a bit of a tough time with whether it's illness or injury and niggles at just at the wrong time and tonight everything came together. Like I'm so proud of the race I put together tonight. I, I kept I felt like I made all the right moves. I put myself in contention and Michael kept saying to me at some point those ladies are going to come past you and just keep closing the gap and that's honestly the, the, the thing I kept reminding myself was close, 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 stay as close as you possibly can because you kept saying that last K, the crowd will just drag you around. Even if you're dead on your feet, the noise in the stadium will just give you that buzz and you'll, it'll help you boost you and that's exactly what happened. I can't explain, the last 600 metres was just a blur and the last 200 metres was like it didn't even happen. Like I can't, ex I, I don't I'll ever hear a noise like that. Um, incredible, it really was. Yeah, let me ask you, when, when you talk about things like executing race plans, strategies, processes, when does that go out the window and then suddenly the emotion of tonight and the gold medal and the finish line getting closer and the raw kick in for you? Yeah, I think I went through a bit of a wobble at like halfway because I was leading the race. I obviously... Um, it was a bit windy tonight as well and I thought, God, have I gone too early? Um, it was quite slow through the first half as well and obviously I prefer it when the pace is, is quick. Like in Hengelo this year I set the pace at 15 minutes, um, which is, was British record territory and tonight was 15.40 so I was way off the sort of pace that I like to, to, to clip along at. And so I started to panic a little bit. I thought, God, am I just a sitting duck? Like, it happened obviously at World Champs and I just felt like at some point people are gonna come past. But I was so fired up from that to not make that mistake again and to sort of, yeah, keep as close as I possibly could because again, I knew that crowd in the last K would be, would really get me round. And I actually had, as I said, a bit of a wobble at halfway, but once I got to about five laps and there was the three of us in contention, I thought, okay, calm down now, you've got people almost doing the work for you at this point, I'm not always taking every single lap, like they came past I think at the right time and it really just, I kept saying to myself relax, <laughs> relax, try and relax um, and at 600 to go I knew I had a medal chance, I couldn't see the big screen, that was the weirdest thing, like usually I kept looking up to see how many of us are away and I had no idea and I think running scared helped a little bit as well, I wasn't sure and I really was determined to win a medal but yeah, that last 600, I sort of thought I could do it. There was sort of a glimmer of hope that I could maybe stick in and do it. And the last 200, I knew I could do it. I think just something just came over me and that crowd noise, I, I can't put into words. It was just, it was insane. It really was. Final 